CBS 8 is working for you and our Brian White rode out to North Park to figure out the answer. With ambitious climate action goals set forth by the city of San Diego and the installation of new bike lanes across the region, I'm setting out to see what bike ridership is looking like. I honestly like never use my car now because I'm biking everywhere and working from home, so it's great. I love it. Every day, at least a couple times a day, I bike everywhere. So just how many people are out there riding? The bike counting device on the corner of 30th Street and University Avenue gives a snapshot of bike and scooter riders that pass over these sensors on both sides of the street. Since its installation in January, the counter has a running total of just under 100,000 riders so far this year. We've heard some reports of double counting, so I stood out there Monday for two and a half hours to see for myself. From noon until 2.30, it counted 55 people, but I did see some double counting. Here, it went from 77 to 79 when this person rode by, and here from 81 to 83 when this rider passed by. And again, it went up two for this guy, and again for this guy. Altogether, I saw this happen 12 times while I was there, which means the true number was 43 riders during that time rather than 55. Of course, like anything else, it's going to miss some people. It's going to double count someone every once in a while. Nothing is perfect. Some business owners along 30th Street protested the bike lanes when they were installed because the city removed over 400 parking spaces to do so. Definitely have less customers coming in here, and the ones that do will let me know that they drove around in circles for 15 minutes trying to find a parking spot. The monthly numbers from the bike counter show a peak of over 12,000 riders in July and a steady decrease each month since then, with less than 10,000 riders last month. The city's transportation department says seasonality, weather, and school schedules all play a factor in ridership patterns and frequency. Will Radigan with the San Diego County Bicycle Coalition agrees. Every year you'll see the highest ridership in July and San Diego also has more people in it in general with the tourist season in the summer and you'll see the lowest when it's coldest in December or January. With the city continuing to invest in more bike lanes, will that investment pay off with more ridership? I am so confident that as we continue to build that network, Riding a bike will become more practical for many people, and we'll see those numbers really start to increase. Working for you, I'm Brian White for CBS 8.